I grew up in a household with a lot of love. Even though we had a lot of love, we didn't have much else. And at times we were very, very poor. Um, my mother worked two or three jobs, all, all, always at minimum wage, and we just didn't have much. My father was a, a drug addict, and uh, his addiction, his disease, drove us into poverty and into, into homelessness. We'd spend nights in our car, uh, weeks or months in homeless shelters, sometimes at hotels that the, the church would put us up in. And sometimes we just simply, we just ran out of food. And at those times, uh, she would take us, sometimes all four of us, to the food pantry. You'd walk into this place and they'd smile at you as if uh, they were just waiting for you to come by. And they were so happy that you were there, right? Uh, they delivered the help that we needed when we needed it without judgment. And for that, uh, I'll be forever grateful. Because it turned out to be not, not charity, but an investment. Right? Those scrawny kids, without that kind of love and, and affection from an entire community, would have gone down a, a bad path. Without the ability to get what we needed, the food that we needed when we needed it, uh, we would not have been able to go to school. Wouldn't have been able to focus, wouldn't have been able to do our homework, you know. We wouldn't have wanted to go home, a home that we knew had no food in it. People presume that if you need the food pantry or if you're on food stamps or you need assistance of any kind, it's because you must be bad people, lazy people you know, dumb people maybe. Or well, people who have made mistake after mistake after mistake. And the truth is, uh, all it takes is really one traumatic event. One trauma can send a family into a, uh, into a tailspin for years, you know. The loss of a job, the loss of a spouse. When you bring food into a home that didn't have it before, it's, it's literally cause for a celebration. Right? This is different than bringing home the groceries and putting them away. You have food, you've bought time. You know what you're going to eat and what your children are gonna be eating for the next five days. And once you've confronted that, and with the help of a community overcome it, you feel that there's no problem that together with that same community you can't overcome. I think the way that it changed me most fundamentally is that I became a person that was exceedingly grateful for everything I'd received. You feel grateful and you want to repay those folks' kindness however you can. I had received so much love that I, I really need to pour it back into the, this community. I want no kids in, in my city to go hungry. I don't want any moms in, in my city to worry about how they're gonna feed their children. I don't want any kids in my city to be so distracted by the growl in their stomachs that they can't focus on their math homework. And, you know, I'm an optimist now. I mean, after what we went through, you have to be an optimist. Uh, you have to believe. That you come to believe that anything really is possible. Feed hope. Give to the food bank of the Southern Tier.